gather around, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is story time. A story about these two pups. <laughs> I purchased these at, maybe it was an auction or an estate sale or the flea market, but I fell in love with them the moment that I saw them. With a lot of children being at home now due to the online schooling, I have a little cousin who I thought, I'm gonna give her a different kind of homework. So I tasked her with writing a story about these two pups. What did she come up with? That follows. It surprised me a little, but I think it teaches a great lesson about vintage items that are at the flea market and provides a different kind of view about those items. So stay tuned for story time. I'm sure that you'll enjoy it. The Life of Two Dogs by Kylie, illustrated by Kylie. Once upon a time, there were two little dogs. Named Ollie, Ollie was a black Scottish terrier. He was very happy with his owner. The second dog was a cheetah thing. He was named Bolt because he was as fast as lightning. He loved his brother, Ollie. He knew him since he was a little boy. Ollie and Bolt both loved their owner. She was a little girl. They grew up all together in a happy family. When the girl was 34, she sold at the flea market one day. Bolt and Ollie were very curious what was happening. About an hour later, a boy came by and he asked how old the dogs were. She said they were born in the late 1800s. So when he took them out, he asked how much. She said $3, so he bought them. By the time they got in his car and drove off, they never saw their old owner again. And by the time they were 14 in dog years, they did see their owner one time, but the girl had replaced them with a younger dog, a fancy poodle. They were very upset, but lived their lives. They enjoyed playing with each other and they were very thankful for their new owner and thankful for being alive. A different story than I expected, but I think a very telling story. My little cousin knows how the flea market business goes. She knows about vintage things. I love history, I love old things, and because of that, I think she kind of loves those things too. It is a lot of fun traveling with her and showing her things that I find in the garbage or things that I buy at flea markets and estate sales. And when she saw these two dogs, she fell in love with them. So I thought, why not engage her and let her write a story about them? I didn't give her any guidelines for the story. I just told her that I found them at the flea market. So I'm assuming the 34 year old in the story is me, <laughs> but I don't think I would have sold these. But to find them at a flea market for $3, what a bargain, what a price. But it does tell the tale. A person had these items for many years. They sell at the flea market, they get rid of the items, and then they get something else, a fancy poodle. I would have kept them, but some people, they don't do that. They value an item for a couple years, 10, 20, 30 years, and then they decide, you know what? I'm going to pass them on to someone else who can love them and enjoy them. And the new owner did. The new owner took the dogs. The dogs were very curious about what was happening, but they loved being with their new owner and they loved having that chance to be alive again, to be enjoyed by someone else. And that's what happens when you purchase something at a flea market at an estate sale or at an auction. It belonged to someone before, whether they passed away or they're just downsizing or they decided, you know what, this has been in my closet for years. I want someone else to enjoy them and they pass it along. Someone else comes along, whether they're bidding at an auction, rummaging at a rummage sale, or buying at a flea market, and they find something that sparks their interest. It sparks their eye. It could be an item that they've been looking for for years. It could be something that perhaps they had as a child and they want to reminisce and have it again. Or it could just be something that they find beautiful, that they find brings them joy. And so they purchase it. And that's the cycle of things. So. That essentially is why I do what I do in the world of reselling, to give items a new life, to bring them back to life, to give them another chance. Sure, this pup is well-worn. He has some issues with his hair on the top, his collar, the leather is very worn, but he's still
awesome. He's cute. He brings me joy. He brings my little cousin joy when she sees him. And that's the thing. If something brings you joy, if, if you enjoy it and you love it, then why not have it out and display it in your home? And if it's time for it to pass it along, then please pass it along. If you put it out in the trash, hopefully I would come along to find it, but there's always, they always can be used somewhere else. So that's a cycle. Flea markets, auctions, estate sales, rummage sales. They're enjoyed by one person, they pass along and they can be enjoyed by another. And that's what makes the world of online selling, eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, whatever you fancy, so great, is that we can put these items out there into the world and they can be enjoyed again rather than ending up in a garbage bag and never, never seen again, or up in an attic or in a basement not to be enjoyed. So when you go out to your flea markets, auctions, estate sales, and you find something that makes you smile or you think might make someone else smile, you know, maybe ask how much it is. Take a chance, could be $3, it could be out of your price range, but still. The ability to have something that can bring back a memory or that can bring you joy is something that we should cherish. And then when the time comes, we can pass it along to someone else and keep that cycle going. A little bit of a different video, but I thought that you would enjoy it. I liked tasking my cousin with this different kind of homework. It turned out a little bit unexpected than I thought, but it turned out great. And I loved hearing her story about little Ollie and Bolt. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button. My cousin probably is thrilled that I have her featured in her own little YouTube video. So perhaps I can task her with writing other stories for some of my other treasures that I found along the way. Hope you all have a great day, a great week, great weekend whenever you may be watching this. And I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.